Back in the mid-90s and the early days of interactive communications, the Internet, technology companies began racing to create freight exchanges. These exchanges would theoretically enable seamless communication and transaction between carriers and shippers that would disenfranchise intermediaries, agents and brokers. These companies believed as first movers they could build these complex systems, flip a switch, and shippers and carriers would climb out of their comfort zones overnight and flock in droves to the exchanges like hypnotized sheep. Initially, shippers were wooed by the prospect of lower cost while carriers signed up and huddled around hardwired kiosks in truck stops arm wrestling for a few loads. Both sides quickly became disillusioned with these networks, which had databases of stale information, loads that were already taken, and carriers with no capacity. These early so-called freight exchanges soon learned that it was not only prohibitively costly to modify the entire industry's behavior, but it was too early in the interactive communications development to maintain an efficient and cost-effective real-time platform. In their rush to be first movers, they made costly strategic mistakes, resulting in failures. Technological revolutions are always strewn with failed attempts. However, there is a bright side. The remnants left behind, the knowledge and innovations, are invaluable to successor companies that become benefactors of this prior market behavior modification and technological development. A good example is early rocketry. It was a great idea, but it took decades before the technology and cost would allow anyone other than the military to benefit from this revolutionary technology. Even though pioneers could build something that looked like a rocket ship, didn't mean that they could man it, blast off in it, and return to Earth safely. It would take decades before the technology to create the materials, fuels, and structures, and the scientists' understanding of the dynamics and physiological effects of space travel on human beings. Today, the success rate of rocketry is excellent, and the companies that develop them have the benefit of predecessors' technologies and a vast amount of support statistics. Companies focus on payloads and explorations, the business of the rocket, rather than focusing efforts on building rockets. In the transportation industry, large carriers have spent millions of dollars to develop in-house proprietary systems. Some mid-sized carriers have purchased transportation management systems. But most carriers currently still use cell phones and pagers between dispatchers and drivers to track their fleets. Shippers have one relatively simple and basic need, to move freight. Shippers usually execute freight transactions by using a group of core carriers. These carriers compete for freight by contracted lane costs, but do not always have assets near the requested pickup location. Carrier assets usually travel long distances to reach the pickup location, creating non-revenue generating miles. Also, the limited number of shipper loads available to these carriers means that their assets are underutilized, which creates additional costs. This is commonly referred to as lane imbalance. Until now, the use of technology to track carriers' assets has been far too expensive for typical carriers to implement into their systems, leaving most carriers to continue to use manual efforts in dispatching and tracking their assets. Carriers realize these inefficiencies and build the cost into the prices they quote. Power to ship has sailed through the turbulent early days of the transportation technology revolution and has become a benefactor of the knowledge and innovation paid for by our predecessors. P2S spent several years of extensive research and development creating a solution that incorporates transportation management software, GPS tracking, wireless data collection, an expedited settlement into a robust web-based platform. The P2S system provides shippers with a pool of carriers with unused capacity available for their loads. Carriers will have fewer non-revenue generating miles, therefore reducing overall transportation costs to move loads. Using GPS tracking allows the carrier asset information to be visible in real time over the internet, empowering both shipper and carrier to make more informed decisions. Based on the results of our research, we've overcome some potential points of failure and identified the keys for success. Problem 1. Everyone in the freight industry knows that every year, billions of dollars are eaten up by inefficiencies in the transportation and supply chain process, whether it's paying an intermediary too much, routing trucks improperly, or having too many warehouse locations. Shippers and consumers end up paying the price. 
Shippers are desperate to reduce their transportation and supply chain costs. For the majority of shipping companies, to build or acquire high-level logistics software needed to become more efficient is cost prohibitive, typically requiring expensive hardware and software and lengthy implementation time. Our solution to the first problem was to construct a robust real-time system of seamless high-end logistics and transaction software. Carriers and shippers can locate and transact with each other instantly with or without the assistance of an intermediary. In addition, power to ship provides logistics support specialists to assist in solving their complex daily transportation problems by monitoring exceptions in real time and helping to balance the capacity to loads based on actual information. The P2S platform gives member shippers instant access to thousands of member carriers with capacity for their loads and displays carrier rates based on current market conditions. Utilizing the P2S platform provides exception reporting, carrier and shipper communication, a level of planning and optimization that most companies, large or small, do not currently have at their disposal. Problem 2. How does P2S succeed where others have failed? We succeed by keeping the information on shipper loads and carrier's capacity in our database fresh. Combining the carrier's desire to get paid quickly and the shipper's need for real-time information, we positioned our product to service both sides of the transaction. P2S guarantees the carrier payment on every load with no recourse. The signing of the electronic bill of lading on the power to ship PDA triggers an invoice for shippers and a carrier request for payment upon signed delivery of the load. P2S has made strategic alliances with companies who arrange for electronic settlement of carrier loads and billing of shipper charges. The signature capture upon delivery releases the carrier's asset from the shipment and makes it available to the mobile market for other shippers' loads. Our real-time GPS tracking of moving shipments allows capacity to be forecasted so phantom capacity does not exist when a truck is delayed. These delays generate exceptions, alerting shippers and carriers and enabling them to react. P2S delays the presentation of the future capacity until they will actually arrive, thus keeping the information in the system fresh. Now that we had solved the dynamic data problem, how could we make it easy for carriers and shippers to switch to our platform and stay on as long-term members? Our solution makes it easy and cost-effective for them to use the Power to Ship platform. The development of interfaces with complementary products such as existing transportation management systems, GPS devices, and standard data exchanges, EDI and FTP, enable carriers and shippers to embrace the power to ship solution with minimal downtime and greater performance with their existing tools. Carriers who are looking to compete for loads with the large carriers may wish to take advantage of the power to ship GPS PDA solution which is the most affordable in the industry and interfaces seamlessly with the P2S mobile market to optimize the use of their assets and make them more profitable. Power to Ship sells the GPS PDA solution to carriers for a mere $79 per truck. How has Power to Ship executed a controlled launch to create a balance of loads to available capacity? By stocking the pond, that's how. Over the past few years, Power to Ship has built solid relationships with some large shippers. Several of these shippers are using Power to Ship to handle their transportation and logistics needs. Through clients like A&P and Tire Kingdom, P2S has stocked the pond with loads, and we are now gaining momentum with personal introductions to additional shippers who support the supply chain of these core P2S shippers like Poland Springs and Georgia Pacific. We encourage new shippers to introduce the Power to Ship carrier solution to their favorite carriers and let them use the system for free. To ensure the best customer experience, P2S provides intuitive, user-friendly, automated training and tutorial interfaces supported by in-house, courteous and knowledgeable logistics support specialists. Power to Ship is the first real, dynamic, open market platform for the freight industry. Any size shippers or carriers may become members. Membership will allow them real-time, low-cost access to high-end, user-friendly logistics software and logistics support specialists. The execution and maintenance of this open market platform with its dynamic real-time database gives P2S a significant competitive edge. The real power of the mobile market is that the more shippers and carriers that exist in the marketplace, the more benefits each shipper and carrier will experience. To become a member shipper, carrier, or to learn more, 
visit our website at www.powertoship.com or call us at 866-P2S-4995.